District 17 in the Twin Cities needs a special election to have a voice in Baton Rouge when lawmakers convene in April, but a citizen's complaint questions whether one candidate should even be on the ballot, much less serve legally. NBC 10's Bria Jones has talked to that candidate, Rodney Welch, and the DA. What, what, what's the issue here? Well, Gordon, Rodney Welch is running for the District 17 seat in the House of Representatives. However, a red flag was raised when someone pointing out he does not live in the district. This railroad marks the end of District 17, and Rodney Welch lives on the wrong side of the tracks. He's running for state representative in the district, and this week someone challenged his candidacy. But Welch says he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. Um, did you think there would be a problem? Uh, I did not think that there would be a problem, um, but I, I felt that someone possibly would try to contest it. Um, but that's why I was very honest up front, um, made sure I put my domicile address. Welch admits he does not live in the district, but didn't know it was a requirement. I went through documents outlining the qualifications of candidates from the Louisiana State Secretary's website. It says to qualify, candidates must live in the district they want to represent the preceding year. The Washington Parish Clerk's Office told me they don't verify candidates' addresses before qualifying. And Welch says he jumped at the opportunity when previous state representative Marcus Hunter's seat was left vacant. When Marcus's seat became vacant, um, that became the wow factor for me to let me know that this is real. So I just kept going back and forth, Rodney, is this something that you should do? Is this something that you should do? Should you wait? Uh, or, you know... And, and something just kept telling me, you know, now is the time. Now. He says he wants the chance to fight for the district he grew up in. I, I stepped out on faith and, and just believe that if, 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 if he's brought me to this, this is the opportunity that, 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 that he's given me to do it, and I'm going to make it happen. District Attorney Steve Two says the complaint was filed after the deadline and found void. Therefore, Welch will remain in the race. However, if he wins, he must move to be able to serve. In the studio, Bria Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader.